Welcome to my home automation and node rack playlist. And in this video, I'm revisiting a topic that I just posted a couple of weeks ago, which is about how you can integrate an IP camera and Google Home and well, some other inputs, which can be basically anything, in order to tell Google Home to say you something, in my case, that it's going to tell me that somebody is at the door because they ring my doorbell and grab an image from my IP cam and show it on Google Home. So on the previous design, I've done a little bit too complicated because uh, I've run into some issues and I have a little bit more understanding about those issues. So this is why I thought it's, it's worth uh, remaking this video. And I also got some tips in the comments that I will be using in this video. Apart from that, the end result is pretty much the same. I press the doorbell, I get an announcement on the Google Home that somebody is at the door, and then finally I get an image. If I show you the new flow, it is pretty much the same. So it starts with the inject node, which again, it can be anything. In my case, I have a RF doorbell and I'm using RF link to get that information and basically trigger an input for this flow. And the next, I have a real link camera. I'm just going to post in the actual model that I, I have. I don't remember from the top of my head. And all these real link cameras, they have a specific URL that you can call and they return a JPEG image of the current you know, still image. So I just uh, uh, take the HTTP request, I point that to the URL, I set the return to a binary buffer. And what I've done previously is I saved that image and previously I saved it into my uh, Node-RED static folder. And this is where I run into issues because once I pointed that Node-RED URL to Google Home, it was kept saying that the load failed. And I couldn't really figure out why. I thought maybe because it's the certificate, but I've actually converted my Node-RED back to run without certificate. So it's definitely not that. I thought maybe it's support, but I've tried the same with a different server which is running off to my NAS and that was running port 5000 and that was fine as well. So I don't think it's the port. So it seems that there is something about the Node-RED web server which uh, Google Home doesn't like. I've actually created an issue about this on the uh, Contribcast to a GitHub page. And um, even the author recommended that uh, it could be something with the server itself that it's not having the proper headers or something. And um, I, I closed this issue after all, because it is definitely not the problem with the, uh, with the node itself, why the Google Home is not displaying, because it works for other URLs, so it must be the server. But regardless, based on this, the decision I, I made is that I'm not going to use Node-RED to host the image that, and, the, and the website that I'm going to point to or give it to Google Home, but uh, my Raspberry Pi is also ru running an Apache uh, web server because that hosts some other things like PHP, MyAdmin, so SQL admin. So I thought maybe I can use that, I give it a try. So what I've done here is in the save out node, I've changed the path, so it uh, saves to the standard Apache uh, directory, which is slash VAR slash www sorry, slash HTML. So I'm sa saving it as a gate.jpg. So again, I'm just using the file name. I'm overwriting the file every time. And I'm giving it a four second delay because again, I want to allow Google Home to fully uh, speak or say out the message that there is someone at the door. So again, that's the first uh, payload which goes out to the Google Home a node, which is, uh, that's my local IP of my Google Home. Uh, it's type TTS and that's the text that it needs to uh, speak out. So that goes into the Google Home Hub. Uh, I haven't provided, well, I've provided the IP here, but I think that gets overwritten by the IP which is coming in the payload. So that doesn't matter. So I do a four second delay and in four seconds, the announcement will be said or read out. And after that, I can call Google Home again and then point it to the URL. So it's um, one, uh, the, the IP of my Pi, 8080, that's where uh, the Apache Web Server is running, and then just slash gate.jpg. And the reason I have the rest of this stuff here, it's basically a question mark time or anything. And after that, I add the current timestamp because just like I mentioned before, if I would point the same uh, URL to Google Home again, then it would think that this is, I'm trying to display something that it has displayed before. So it would just show the cached image and not the, you know, the current image that got overwritten by. So by providing this um, sort of 
variable thingy at the end of the URL, it would think that, okay, this is a different image, so I need to reread it now. So it would, uh, you know, fetch the image every time. Well, that's one way to ensure that it always uh, shows the current image. So that would display the, the image from the IP cam. And also, separately, I have a delay and I have the close image. It has the same stuff that I had before. So with this command, I just tell Google Home to go back to the standard uh, screensaver stuff. And you can also have a debug. So if you want to look at the messages, you know, going in and out, but that's uh, entirely optional. So with this, I have recreated uh, what I have done before. Uh, probably a little bit safer, I would say. Most probably because I'm not relying on the script to do the upload to my NAS, which you know sometimes takes a second, sometimes it takes five seconds, so the Google Home misses the image. So I think this is a much safer way of doing that. But also that means that you have to run another server on the Raspberry Pi. But you might be doing that already, so that might not be a big issue. Besides that, one of my viewers sent me a flow as well, and that does a few other things as well. And then it has a, uh, a few quirks that I actually quite like. The first of all, what he wanted to do, he wanted to display the real link image on the uh, dashboard. And, and of course, what you can do is, again, you can save the image and you can create a template node, which uh, also generates the image uh, URL like this with a time part of it. So it's always, um, you know, it's always a different URL, so it makes the, uh, your browser to reread the, the URL or reread the image every time. But what he has done here is that he takes this binary image, he converts it to a base uh, 64, basically that's text. So for this you need to use the base 64 um, node, which I have added to my Node-RED. And then you format it to an image. As you can see, the source is the is the base64 uh, encoded JPEG, which gets added into the uh, into the HTML, and then you send it on to a, a UI node. So to test this, actually, let me delete that so my Google Home doesn't start speaking. And if I click, there is someone at the door. Okay, well, sorry, Google Home still triggered <laughs> via this one. But what you could hear in the background is that besides Google Home talking, which you probably couldn't pick up, but then my computer was also talking, and that was done by these two nodes here. So first of all, in the change node, I'm just setting the text. I'm just putting that in the payload. And you also have this UI audio uh, node, which is part of the dashboard. I never used it before, to be honest. And what it does, is you can read it here, it can play a Waven or MP3 file. But if you give it a text, then it uses the uh, built-in text-to-speech, which is supported by m most browsers. And it's just going to say, you know, pretty much what you hear in Google Home. Of course, the only caveat for this one is, uh, where is it? The dashboard needs to be running. So if you, if you are not running the dashboard in, a, you know, in, a, in your browser, in your computer, well, it's just not going to happen. But um, I'm doing it now, and you can see the image here. Of course, I should have made this group a little bit better. But anyway, you can see the image being displayed. So if you want to save the SD card a little bit and you don't want to you know, save that image, uh, then that's the way to go. Just convert the output to base64, put it into a template, and then give it to a UI template and display it on the UI. And of course here, if the image is too big, sorry, it's here. If the image is too big, you can make it just uh, you know, smaller well, make it appear smaller on the UI. It's going to be the same big image. And the, uh, and the audio art, I think it's a nice touch. If you have a tablet at your home, which is constantly displaying the, the Node-RED dashboard, then this is a great way of uh, you know, using audio and then have something spoken out uh, automatically. And, and that's something which you can easily control from Node-RED and you don't need a, you know, a Google Home in your home, which is listening all the time. And that's all there is to it. I wanted this to be a short video. Hopefully it is short enough. Uh, just give you a slightly better flow from what I had previously. By the way, I still haven't forgotten about making this still image into like a video stream. And I've actually contacted somebody and I've received an email about how he thinks it can be done. It looks a little bit too complicated because I don't have a lot of Linux experience, but I'm going to spend some time on it. 
in the future so hopefully there's going to be an update 3 to this whole you know IP camera and Google Home automation but until that thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video